Hi there, it's, uh, it's Ben here from Bright Network and this is another video as part of the How To series and this is all about assessment centres and how you can ace them on the day. So uh, assessment centres, you've probably passed the initial screening, uh, maybe done some tests, uh, maybe even in a telephone interview uh, and now you're maybe invited into the offices uh, for a day, maybe two thirds of a day and it's your real, really great chance to show how you stand out and really impress the firm across a wide range of tasks. So to start this video, I'm just going to talk about what you might uh, have as part of the assessment center. Um, so the, the, the first thing is you might have to redo the tests. You've done them online and they might ask you to redo them um, on the day. Uh, the second thing is, is interviews, so there might be a couple of different formats of the interviews. So you might have a one-on-one -on -one with a senior manager, partner, um, and you might even have like a panel interview where people across the business will ask you questions and there'll be multiple people, people there. Um, pretty much all, all graduate recruiters will require you to do some form of group work with the other candidates. Um, so that might be presented back on a scenario or even discussing ideas and coming up with a solution. Uh, which is a really, really important part of the assessment centre. You're also maybe given a case study, an individual case study, um, which is often in, uh, in consulting but does uh, span across loads and loads of different other graduate, graduate employers as well. Um, and the case study is basically you analyse a scenario and then you'll present your findings uh, to the business, uh, being really analytical. So uh, definitely, definitely brush up on, on that. Um, then there's e-tray exercises where you are given a maybe a series of emails and working out what's the most important and how you prioritise your, your time um, uh, wisely to make sure you kind of get the best results uh, for the company. And the final thing is you might be asked to do a presentation, so definitely be prepared for that too. So now I'm going to give you some kind of top tips for my top tips for assessment centres. So my first one is all about the, the group exercise I've just mentioned. Um, make sure you get really involved in the right way in the kind of the group exercise. So you don't want to be the loud mouth shouting over everyone, but you do want to be contributing ideas, really listening to other people's ideas. And the best people in group exercise actually develop on other people's ideas. So they hear what other people are saying. Uh, and then also go actually it would work even better if we did this uh, and then also making sure that you're very solution focused so uh, don't just talk for 10 minutes and come up with nothing make sure that you're talking but it's actually leading somewhere and if you're if you're driving that you'll you'll stand out as a as a really good candidate so my second tip is all about presenting um, I know a lot of you will be nervous about public speaking, uh, but it's vitally important you get it right, not just for this assessment centre, but um, throughout your time at university and your career. My first tip is you just need to practice. Make sure you're not shying away for any opportunity to do a bit of public speaking, whether it's at university, for a society, or whatever it may be. Um, and then when you are presenting and when you're given the time in the assessment centre, you'll be given time maybe to create a few slides and think about your presentation don't rely too heavily on the slides. You don't need to be creating amazing, amazing slides, just a couple of slides that convey a couple of key ideas, and then actually it's gonna be all about how you kind of convey your message and talk to them on the day and really engage them. So that would be my top tip for presenting. So uh, my third tip concerns if you don't know something or you don't know the answer to a question they might, might ask. Um, it might sound like a, the worst nightmare, but it does happen. Um, and the worst thing you can actually do is uh, maybe lie or start waffling on about something that you don't, don't really know about. Uh, what's the best thing? Let's say you've been asked something which is about a business story that you don't really know about. Uh, instead of, uh, say, do, doing all the waffle, uh, what I, I would do is, uh, say, be honest in the interview, say I don't really know a huge amount about that story. However, I do know a lot about this and I think this could be linked in this way. It shows that you've kind of answered the question, you've thought on your feet uh, and you haven't just said absolutely, absolutely nothing. And the, the final point I, I'm going to make is, is that it is a full day and that might sound blatantly obvious but what I'm talking about here is that you're going to be interacting with uh, so many people across the, the business from you know, receptionists at the start of the day, different maybe graduates at lunch and then the assessors. You need to be enthusiastic, smiling, polite um, and really conscientious throughout the day. 
Um, you never know when you're being assessed and not assessed, so don't let your guard slip at all and stay professional um, all the time. Thank you very much to tuning in to this how-to series video on assessment centres. There's lots and lots of great advice on the Bright Network website. Just go to uh, Graduate Careers Advice under there. You can find assessment centres. Lots of experts have given you top tips there. So make sure you do check it out. And if you're completely lost, you can always contact our membership services team. Um, and they're on uh, help at brightnetwork.co.uk. Um, thank you very much and goodbye.